This morning to discuss the latest unemployment and COVID-19 statistics is County Supervisor Jim Desmond. Jim, good morning. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you very much, Jason. Glad to be here this morning and, and uh, you know, talking about uh, COVID here still. Uh, you know, the, in the county, we've had, I think, about 5,600 people now that have tested positive uh, for the virus. We've had about 200 and eight people in total that have died. And we're, you know, the, the unemployment, though, is really kind of the striking number. 28% unemployment, as Supervisor Gaspar had mentioned. In some of the areas of the county, uh, Logan Heights, we're at 40%. Um, City Heights, we're at 35%. You know, it, this is just not sustainable for us to keep going and, and uh, you know, for people to be out of work this long. You know, what we've learned through this is our most vulnerable population, those with underlying conditions, now those are the ones that need most of our attention. And those, bit, and those folks need a operating health system that's driven by the economy to pay for those types of services. You know, I reported earlier that we only had very few solely, you know, uh, deaths by um, the coronavirus, not to, you know, uh, belittle any of the uh, any of the deaths in San Diego County, but we only had very few that were just due solely to the virus. And what that tells us is those with the underlying conditions need to have the, the focus on them, need to have the mask. They should not be coming out of the house. They should have all of the care and all the, all the uh, equipment and everything that they need but we got to get the people that are healthy without the underlying conditions back to work, back in the businesses, and back to getting our economy going again so we can afford the health care system we need for those with the underlying conditions. Have you, Jim, had you any communication with the governor's office as far as letting San Diego take the lead here in San Diego County? Because this, this mandate of uh, 14 days without a single COVID-related death is just completely unattainable in a county this size. It, it absolutely is. And personally, he has not been taking my phone calls. So uh, we at the county are, you know, coming up, as Supervisor Gasper mentioned earlier, are coming up with a plan this Tuesday. It's not public yet, but it comes up with a plan with a date with certain businesses that we want to have open. And quite frankly, I tried to do this in April, but now here we are, I think, uh, in May, uh, you know, mid-May doing this uh, same thing. But um, we, we have a plan that we're going to give to the governor and say, look, we can safely do this. We can. We all these businesses are willing to do the social distancing, to wear the gloves, to wear the masks. Every business is willing to do that. And quite frankly, in San Diego County, we've, we've been good behavior. Uh, good behavior. We've uh, you know flattened the curve. You know we're moving forward. It's just unfortunately that unattainable goal that the the, the, uh, uh, the governor has put out for all the counties to achieve is impossible for us, as, as you stated. So we need to have more reasonable guidelines and local control. I think we can do it right. San Diegans have proven we can do it with the essential businesses and having all of those businesses open and people remaining safe, going to Costco, going to Home Depot, going to Lowe's, going to all those places. We can do that safely in many more businesses and keep, keep our economy and get our economy back and our jobs back. Okay, so okay. just to reiterate, 200 deaths in San Diego County. Of those COVID-related deaths, only six of those people did not have underlying conditions. Is that right? That's true, and, and, and that's not to belittle any of the other, any deaths at all, but only six were due purely and solely by COVID. But what that tells us is those with the underlying conditions need to have all these protections in place. We need to have all of them with... It, but not everybody. We should be able to get other folks without underlying conditions, healthy people, back to work while protecting those with the underlying conditions is all that really tells us. Okay, you've been going with the numbers and the science. Let's shift gears now because a lot of people are asking how much of this is science and how much of this is politics? What is your opinion on the political angle here? What's going on? Well, the, unfortunately, politics doesn't enter the equation. I try to deal with facts. I mean, and, and I know a lot of people were unhappy with the fact that I came up with, but actually it's on the county's website, so it was hidden in, hidden in plain sight. I've been an airline pilot for 33 plus years. As a captain, you know, I have to make decisions based on facts. I don't get to pick and choose which facts that I like or, or, or I don't like. I have, and I've been doing that for years. I'm doing the same thing here. Try, I'm trying to keep politics out of it. The virus doesn't know politics. And we should not be looking at politics either way on, on this. We should look at the facts, see who's the most vulnerable, protect the most vulnerable, and get our economy back 
working to provide those services that the most vulnerable need. All right, County Supervisor Jim Desmond. Jim, thank you so much for your time and insight this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you.